Good morning, welcome to SPA. Apparently I'm the only person here. It's time to shoot 16 hours of testing in two days. Let's head inside and get started. All right, so we're here in the media center, all set up and ready to go. As you can see, it's not, um, it's not super busy. There's not a lot of people coming to shoot a two-day test. Um, a lot of the teams also don't have the right liveries on their cars that are gonna run in the race. 24 hours of spa is in a couple of months. Uh, so this is basically just a preliminary test. All the drivers get laps. Um, there's 16 hours of testing, eight hours today, eight hours tomorrow. But with these tests, what usually ends up happening is like this morning session, they'll go out, run a couple of laps, come in, sit for an hour, maybe swap the driver out, do a bunch of changes. So it's not really a super exciting thing to shoot, but it's still important to get uh, some content from my clients here. So I just picked up my um, my tabard or my vest here for the race. Um, you'll see photographers wearing these trackside or in the pit lane, and they're all different colors depending on the race series and whatnot. Uh, some are uh, different colors within a race series that mean different things. So this one is pink, it means pit lane. It says pit lane on the back there. And it also has a number on it. And the number is to correspond uh, with who it belongs to. So they have a list of you know who has what number. So I have number 642, which means when I am trackside, if they see me do something unsafe, they can call in the number. Someone can read it off the back, call it in, and then they can look at the list, see that it's me, come to my desk over here and be like, hey, 642, you were being an idiot trackside and you're in trouble now. So that's why they have the numbers on them. So, and uh, yeah, just so they know who you are and uh, security staff know you're allowed to be there. It's the slippery stairs of death here at Spa. Gotta be very careful. Um, we're just going down to the pit lane for the first session of the day. It's three hours long, so we'll do pit lane for this session, um, and then in the afternoon we'll probably go trackside because right now it's misty, um, it's not super nice, but there's not enough water on the racetrack to look good in terms of spray, so it would just be gray and crappy trackside, so I'm gonna spend most of the session down in the pit lane where when you're shooting in the pit lane, it doesn't really matter what the weather is. starting to rain a bit now but not enough rain to do anything cool it's kind of the annoying part where there's gonna be a little bit of spray on the cars but it's not gonna look cool you want it to rain pretty well if it's going to rain because you at least want to get some nice spray off the cars if you're sacrificing good light because when it's cloudy it looks like shit so at least if it's gonna be cloudy rain on us so we get some nice spray Yeah. Okay, so when do you get in? So you can get in either you go in where the Marshall stand is here, okay. walk all the way down, and you can literally walk up the grass. It'll be too wet though now. Right. So there's another gate on the way up. You go to the fan area on the way up to the um, is it grandstand. The grandstands. There's okay. a gate there as well. Right. That should. I don't know if it'll be open though. That's the thing. Yeah. For this event so like uh, from this tunnel here there is like a muscle coaster on yeah so you can go in there and you can literally walk if you have to climb up the grass and bank it it's gonna be really wet today the rain's falling at a fairly decent rate now and some more cars are going out with wets on but uh, none of my clients are out there right now they're all just chilling so a lot of teams don't want to run in the rain at all but you might have to because it usually rains during the race, so it's a good idea to get out in the rain here. But some teams don't want to risk wrecking the car during a test session. We're going to go down to La Source for a bit, get the wide shot. It's one of the coolest shots you can get here in Spa. All right, so session one done, honestly, that's one of those sessions where it kind of feels like I should have just slept in and not come to the track because there uh, wasn't really a lot going on, not a lot of running. I did a little bit of shooting at La Source, but that was pretty much it. Uh, second session, five hours, looks like the rain's gonna stop, so they'll probably do a lot more running. I'll go trackside for most of that session, but uh, 
it's kind of just bonus here shooting the test so not really sure specifically what we're going to produce content wise other than just like a little bit of like hype stuff stuff for the driver suiting up and that but you know still good to be at the racetrack getting some stuff done so it could be worse it could be down a coal mine you know it could be a, a real job <laughs> Behind-the-scenes content. Yeah, Alright, so session two, it's five hours. We're gonna go trackside for a bit. Session one, I did pretty much all pit lane. So we're gonna go trackside, get some footage. Hopefully the cars are out running. You never know with testing what the plan is. Usually it's one or two laps that come in. Hopefully they do some longer runs so we have time to get uh, some good shots. The lap here in the dry is about two minutes and 15 seconds so they don't come by you super often but hopefully they run more than a handful of laps so we're under uh, a red flag right now it looks like something happened uh, just up the hill here uh, at Eau Rouge and Radion I uh, can't see and there's no actual TV cameras here for the test so there's no replays or anything no one knows what happened unless it got caught on somebody's onboard so just wait around now um it's very quiet all the engines are turned off cars are returned to the pit lane so now we just wait um and see how long this is going to take um you think it'd be a prime time to move but i need to stay here and get a few more cars going up the hill so i'm just going to wait until we start running again hopefully it'll be a quick cleanup hopefully everybody's okay so once they get going again we'll get a few more shots here and then probably work my way up the hill here uh, I want to go up in the woods back there and do some shooting down the Kemmel Street in the woods. It's one of my favorite things to do here at Spa. So we'll get that going as soon as uh, we get back on track. But right now we just just chill, just hang out. <laughs> Another red flag. Michaeli, what's the best way to stay entertained during a red flag? Actually, like, oh, look at that. Uh, yeah, I'm not good at this shit, but <laughs> not good at this shit. <laughs> Drink Capri Suns. We don't have any though. So I had just hiked out into the woods here and shot a couple of laps right as it went green. And there's another red flag. So we are back under the red flag waiting around somebody else went off somewhere i have no idea what happened so just kind of have to wait around until we go green again and hope that my cars come out uh, they didn't in that short period we were green so i didn't get anything but what i'm doing here is i'm actually just shooting down this way and panning the cars as they come through where you can barely see them through the trees it creates a really cool effect although you can get a little bit of rolling shutter if you don't have a global shutter camera which i don't so you have to you only use it sparingly in your edits because you can the trees will kind of warp a little bit with rolling shutter so it's a little it's a little annoying it's not great but it still works pretty well in my edits and, and it's kind of a unique shot not a lot of people will come out here uh into the woods and get that shot so it is quite the hike it was not easy to get here but uh it's something different for your edits rather than just the same track stuff so we're back green now and i did see my cars come out of the pit but I have such a small field of view here that to get this shot, I have very little time to react once I see the car over here. And then I just have to lock onto it and shoot. So I might need two or three laps until I nail it. All right, we're finally back green and I got the shot, nailed it. Now, wasted about 40 minutes here getting one shot, but that's the glory of having so much time with testing. In a race, I wouldn't be able to do that. So we got it, let's head to the next spot. Oh, that's a 
hand for a race. Did a quick stop in the pit lane, thus the helmet. Uh, not really much going on, so I'm just gonna head back up. There's about 10 minutes left in the session. I'm gonna start editing, because I'm not really gonna do any driver changes or anything else. So we'll go do some editing, get started, and hopefully get out of here in a decent hour. All right, so as you can see, no longer at the racetrack. Good first day. Well, it wasn't that good. It was kind of annoying with you know, the red flags and everything, but it is what it is. Managed to get stuff for my client. That's what's most important. I have an edit I need to do tomorrow. But right now, most importantly, we're gonna go get some dinner, which I'm really looking forward to. But Kelly and I, who's walking over there because he doesn't want to be in the vlog. <laughs> so we'll go grab some dinner and I'm feeling like a pizza. It sends you my go-to in Europe because I almost always get pizzas everywhere in Europe because the pizza's usually really good here. Although, not always, because I have had really bad pizza. Um, there's good and bad pizza everywhere, but uh, there's no Pizza Hut around, so unfortunately, it's not gonna be as good as Pizza Hut, but it'll be all right. There it is. Hi again, everybody. You're expecting to watch day two of the 24 hours of spa testing vlog, but here's the thing. About midday through the second day, my GoPro, which is now in the media mod piece, stopped recording audio. Apparently I somehow muted it or it failed, not sure what happened. It's working now, but it did not record any audio. So I have a lot of empty files like these of me talking to the camera with no sound. So I really apologize for that. Um, I didn't check it, it's a beginner mistake, but the vlogging is secondary to my actual job. It's just something I do in between work. So I got everything from my clients and that's what matters. The vlog of course is secondary, but I still wanna make great content for you guys, for my followers. So apologies for that, but I hope you enjoyed day one and I am gonna vlog the GT Open Race, which I start shooting tomorrow and I'll have that up for you hopefully shortly to watch as well and we'll make sure the audio works on that one. But in lieu of a second day, enjoy some highlights of what I shot the second day of testing at Spa. Well, I hope you enjoyed those highlights in lieu of a second day of testing vlog. Uh, but if you did make it all the way to the end of the video, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please let me know in the comments what you thought of the video. If there's anything else you'd like to see, any events you'd love to see me vlog, any questions you have for me, I love hearing from everybody. So please go ahead and do that. And likes, shares, and subscriptions go a long way. So if you wanna do that, I'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one.